Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Wireshark on a Windows VM. So let's get started. Uh, for a start, let's fire up our Windows, uh, sorry, our VMware Workstation Player, and uh, fire up the Windows Virtual Machine. We also want to check uh, that the um, Windows VM, okay, the Virtual Machine settings, the network settings for the uh, VM is actually uh, set to NAT. This will allow us to uh, assess the internet through uh, network address translation of the host machine's uh, uh, network interface card. Right, so um, let's give you a while for the virtual machine to start up. Now, uh, after after the virtual machine starts up, it's actually giving me an error that uh, the uh, Windows license is going to expire soon. This is an evaluation copy. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's going to expire in about two weeks time. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to ignore this warning for now. I'm going to click close. Right, and uh, I'm inside my virtual machine now. So uh, let's fire out a browser and navigate to the Wireshark uh, website. Right, uh, let's go to www, yeah, wireshark.org. That's where we go, and uh, you can find the download link here. Click on download, and choose the uh, Windows Installer 64-bit uh, edition. This is a 64-bit OS. Okay, and uh, wait for the download to complete. It's uh, very fast for my connection. It's already done, and uh, once the download complete, uh, just have a click on it to start the installation process. And you're going to see an error that says, uh, I'm sorry, a warning that says that uh, whether you allow this app to make changes. Uh, so you're going to say yes. Right. And uh, the next, next it will prompt you for, oops, next it will prompt you for um, the setup wizard will come up and uh, we're going to click next. Uh, have a read through the license agreement on uh, well, this Wireshark application before clicking agree. We're going to keep the uh, components to install uh, the default. We are going to keep uh, all these uh, additional tasks as default, but uh, maybe you want to add the Wireshark desktop icon so that you see it here. I'll click Next. Uh, installation location, we're going to keep it as uh, the default. And uh, we're going to install NPCAP. Okay, and uh, we are not going to, we can leave this as the default, so uh, we'll leave the install USB PCAP uh, to as, um, uh, how should I say, uh, the uh, default, huh? so we will not install USB PCAP. And uh, that's it, just click install to start the uh, installation process. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video now uh, and wait for it to complete. Now, as part of the process, you'll be prompted for the MPCAP uh, installation. And again, it comes with the license agreement. Uh, have a read through it. Maybe a bit slower than I am doing now. Uh, but have a read through it and uh, before you click agree. And um, for the installation options, right, uh, we are going to keep uh, everything as a default, right, and uh, we're going to keep uh, install. Right, and uh, this is going to be the installation for MPCAP. Before uh, and once it's complete, uh, you're gonna click next. Okay, and uh, it will tell you that the MPCAP has been uh, completed. So you click finish. You go back uh, to install uh, to complete the rest of the Wireshark installation process. As you can see it has created a desktop icon. And it is done. Okay, so the installation is complete. We're gonna click next, and yeah, it's giving you a confirmation screen that uh, it is uh, completed. And we're gonna click finish, and uh, Wireshark is completed and installed on our uh, desktop. 